What's up everybody, it's me Johnny G and welcome back to Ark Knights. This should be our final part of the Hero People Sows event. So this is part four. And we basically have HS-7, 8, 9, and the story epilogue to complete. And then we're all done. We get to find out everything that happens here in Dahuang. And hopefully a, a positive resolution because this has gotten pretty dark over the last couple of... Uh, parts and it's there's been a lot of crazy things and a lot of questions opened up but not a lot of answers yet so hopefully we're going to get those here soon and i'm anxious to see where this story goes but like i said with any luck this will be our last part to the series the only thing that i'm super concerned about is the boss fight because of the fact that the the boss I I need to go back and beat it on my other account and finish it with a three star. I beat the boss, but basically with the boss ending up leaking through on the bottom, I was able to stop everything else except for the boss. I got it to phase two and it went through. That was it. Everything else, I, I managed to beat it. I got a two star on it, but it was tough. I didn't quite figure out the mechanic. So I'll have to dig into it a little bit. I'll have to watch it more and see what I need to do to properly beat it. But we'll try it a few times, see how things go. And then worst case scenario, as always, we'll see if we can get a little bit of a help for our operator positioning and so on and so forth. Without further ado, let's jump right in. <laughs> Ciao, doctor. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in, and as always, we do our free daily pool and all that stuff. Now we get three today because we got... Let's go with these, because we got 300 yesterday, so we get 500 today. Not too bad. I was hoping for a 800, but that's okay. We're good. It's just a higher chance to get that. Now, let's go in here. Here's our free roll, and of course, we will do some more headhunting here. Our free roll gets us a s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-s-
Laterano. Oh, ah. right. That's introductions out of the way before they give me a headache. Here, I just opened this pack of chocolate pretzel sticks. Want one? <laughs> they changed that. People are in an uproar over that. They changed it from pain in the butt to headache. Who cares? It all means the same stuff. Like, chill out. Doctor? Aurora! My boss, Closure, talks about you a lot. Anyways. I it would be nice to try and get one Person, now, one later, name. and then, you From know, on, use my 300 when we get there Assign to pick me. another. Irene! Irene, what? Of Come on! Are you the of You're Rhode a 2% chance you could have given me, uh, you could have really given me Neon at least. Douche. Damn. Hey, well, I'll figure out a use for her. Maybe. I we'll see. Well if not, assessment. she's a collectible. Alright. Oh my god, Earth Spirit again. That's a, that's interesting though. I know of Irene. I know a little bit about her, but I don't know enough. And then ten more. So we get a whole bunch of fours. That's all right. Okay. So lots of certificates and things. We're at two fifty eight. So forty two more pulls to hit the three hundred, and we'll be able to exchange for somebody else. And honestly. Let's go into the store just to look at that. So of course I have Shu and Zola already. I have Green Buds, so I don't need them. I got Ling. So we're sitting here. We have to decide between the other three. Part of me really like there. There's uh, out of all the siblings, I kind of have this gravitation towards Dusk. So I feel like she's the one that I want to pick, regardless. And then I can try for Chong Yue and Neon later, but, you know, whenever they pop back in, which who knows when the next time a limited banner will come where they're available in it. But it's one of those things where, I don't know, I just, I gravitate towards Dusk. There's something about her. Something about her that drags me in. I don't, I don't know. It might be the artist thing, being an artist myself, my wife being an artist. Might be something with that, but but there's something about her looks too that just kind of yeah does it for me. All right, anyways, we're gonna ignore the fact that I was saying things like that. Uh, uh, anyway, store uh, certificates. Let's see if I got any cert stuff. I can't really get any more of those things because I got them all for this month. I could exchange for those ones and start pulling for KOB, which would be nice. I don't have anything there. Um. Yeah, we'll hold up for now. We'll keep our last OP just in case we need. So she is a sword master guard, nuker, DPS, and crowd control. Interesting. Her artwork is really cool though. Oh, like, oh, ooh, 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 she's got a revolver there too. Interesting. Hmm. Next attack deals 100. Percent attack as physical damage causes the target to levitate one second. Deals a hundred percent attack as physical damage to it again. Hmm, it's kind of like a double damage thing. All right, that's pretty neat. Wait, that just say? Oh, she is a block too. That's pretty cool. All right. And Aurora, that's my second time getting her. Yeah, or third. Technically, the third one I've pulled. <clears throat> Because it would have been one potential, up to two with the second, and three. Yeah, yeah. For me. And Ashlock. Cool. Cool. Okay, so. It's time. We have everything we need. Let's elite to Ling. Nyan. Oh, her wrong. artwork is so cool. This farcical dream of a thousand autumns is only right to wake from. Oh, that artwork is so cool. And she's drinking. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, just to clear that highlight out. Ling's badge, fun dream and poetry. Can hold plus three additional summon units and summon unit deployment costs are reduced. Ooh, ooh, that's that's cool for branch tree changes. I like that. She's got decent range and whatnot. I do want to try her. Passive summons 
may be deployed on melee tiles if there are other summons with their attack range combines with them into a higher form active ling and ling and her summons gain plus 40 attack plus 40 defense each summon deals plus or deals 20 percent of ling's attack as arts damage to enemies in the four adjacent tiles every half second after the skill ends gain one summon that's cool in comparison to this Retrieve all summons less than 50% HP and store a charge. Summons may be deployed on ranged tiles and deal arts damage. Ling and her summons deal 250% attack as arts damage to two enemies within. This is just overall you're dealing arts damage every half second. 20% of Ling's attack is arts damage, but you're getting plus 40% attack and defense and they stay out there. They don't just disappear, they stay out there and they can be deployed on melee tiles. That's incredible. I remember seeing somebody use her in a video once, and it Though intrigued me. At a glance, but your nature her stats here, like her HP is low, but her attack and defense are okay, but, but it's like she's based around those summons and things, it seems. So, can use up to five summons, max deployed three max three deployed at once summons effect changes based on skill when a summon is defeated absorbed retrieve ling gains three sp three speed and attack plus three percent or no speed sp uh yeah okay all right well we got that done on to the event. Here we go. We used some of our things already to get some things from the market. Of course, I've got to save up for these three things here, but we picked up some of the items. Of course, we bought furniture parts and stuff, but I've been getting some of the things out of here already that I needed for upgrading Ling and some of the other ops, but that's a lot of a lot of money but once we get done we'll farm for everything out of the shop and get that oh i didn't show you guys actually before we jump in here real quick um i didn't show you because i kind of forgot about it but yesterday when i was collecting my stuff afterwards because i was prepping after I, after i did my recording i was prepping for ling and i was collecting things out of the shop and i collected from the like the list there of the things that you achieve that give you the bonus uh sky poles and i collected wanching so i've got him now he was like from the fifth you beat the fifth mission and then you automatically get him so um yeah but hs-7 here we go what map is this which one is this Okay, yeah, they come from here. So we kind of need to stack these lines in around here. Okay, I think I remember doing this one. Okay, let's go. HS-7. Ooh, this one just starts right away. Oh, okay, okay. Okay! Remember, our purpose is not violence itself, but rather the victory it brings. Let me create a diversion. Death is in my eyes. Face her that way. Target marked. Gonna suck, but I'll be careful. Yeah, because I think this one starts with like the beasts or something that. Oh wow! I didn't realize that extends like that. Okay. Solid position. Pookie there to lend a hand. Professor, this may be a little hard. Let them take care, because there's a few enemies that pop out here that get really difficult. Safe here. Don't make 
this harder than it needs to be. Do that, huh? Let's put an end to this show. Pronto. Hold on to everybody else for now. Yeah, cause see, it drains the blight, which is cool, but... Oh, no, you don't, buddy. You can go do something else. It's angry. Whoa. Are you afraid of me? Whoa. Whoa, pal. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. I wasn't supposed to act. I'll plant you into the soil to grow anew. Not quite what I expected, but all right. Okay, red, attack! Like, seriously! Axis, do something! If you're really incapable of settling this, then let okay, me help. Well. Please give you orders, Professor. Oh, you know what? He's coming this way. I feel I can finish him. Please give you orders, Professor. This may be a little hot. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Got a key? Anything outside the plan? I'll judge for myself. A valiant struggle. But you won't get it. Oh, man, this is rough. No! Hey, wait a second! Wait a second! Let me create a diversion. Wait a second. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Texas, fight him. No! Oh, man. Okay. That's, uh... That was bad. I'll take care of the evacuation. Let's retry that. That wasn't too crazy, but... We're still, we'll try it again. All right. Huh, 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 huh. Good. I suppose you've already got a plan. Let me create a diversion. No way. Right there for now. Charging. Simple and clear. how that works. Roger. I wasn't supposed to I'll plant you into the soil to grow anew. Safe here. Please give your orders, Professor. Temperature stable. Soon do you want them gone? Activating Arch Unit. <laughs> Still mulling things over, Dr. Perfectionist. I'll wait for it to charge up. Still mulling things over, Dr. Perfectionist. Once it hits that, we're gonna activate her skill. Build. Activate you. To grow anew. Solid 
with positioning. I know I can. Okay, that's kind of working over there. Kind of. Keyword. Aha! <laughs> Let's go. Still mulling things right. over, Dr. Perfection. We can pull her. I wasn't supposed to act, but. Show me what you oh, got. Kooky. Make this harder than it Ready to deploy some extras here as needed. Let's put an end to this show. Pronto. Okay. We're gonna. As soon as he goes. Full up. Activate. We're gonna put Texas there as a distraction. Simple as that. Let's put an end to this show. Well, Wrong. get it, get it, get it. Pookie, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> like, no, Pookie, get in there. <laughs> Rely on her. Oh, man. That was rough. Just by a little bit. Uncle. Mute Uncle, where are you? Don't try to fight those monsters, okay? Come out already and let's get out of here together. He's immersed in his own battlefield. The enemies he faces are unspeakable, his tongue rigid and dead inside his mouth. The people he loved have already left, never to see the next spring. He lifts his weapon high into the air. All he feels is that he has something he must protect. But what is it? The sound of a flute slowly drifts in. See, he's got horns too. So I wonder if he's not somehow related to the siblings or whatnot. Or if he's related to, somehow connected to the slumbering of Sui. I don't know. Uncle, uncle, I'm right here. Hurry, don't stay in the forest. Let's get out of here together. Let's go home. You think I'm scared of you? Get lost, you ugly thing. Gunkai. Urgh. A long axe lodges itself in the chest of the strange monster. It struggles to get up, but at least the silk strands fall apart and disperse onto the ground. Long after the axe had been released, the lumberjack's hands remain fixed in the motion of throwing his weapon. Unable to see clearly, he lowers his head and turns his ears, carefully listening to the sounds around him. There you are, Uncle! Finally found you! I'm over here! Hurry, come on over! I'll take you to safety! The lumberjack continues to listen carefully and looks towards grain buds. He then picks up his axe again and turns to head deeper into the woods. Uncle? Uncle, it's dangerous over there! You need to turn back! Rainbuds brings her flute to her lips again, tries hard to steady her breathing, and begins to play another song. Flowers of bloom, so hurry on home. Listen, listen, tis I who calls you back. But the lumberjack does not stop. Several monsters lie prone in the grass in front of Grainbuds. His cloudy eyes are unable to discern the things in front of him. The world spinning endlessly before his eyes. The blood in his vein roars, drowning out all other sound. Until a sharp cry pierces his ears like a needle. Rainbuds turns to try and run, but then she raises her flute again, and a sharper sound reaches his ears. The flowers have bloomed, so hurry on home. Listen, listen, tis I who calls you back. The flowers have bloomed, and it's time to come home. He takes a step forward. A tiny white finger is holding his hand. Uncle, let's go. You don't know how to get back, do you? Why don't you want to go back? Are you afraid you'll scare the others? I promise nobody's going to be afraid of you anymore. They won't treat you like a freak. If anyone tries to badmouth you again, I'll bonk them on the head with my flute. So let's go back together, okay? The red silk tied to his arm suddenly loosens and is blown away by the wind, floating lazily in the sky. Large teardrops roll from the lumberjack's cloudy eyes, but Grainbuds does not notice. One of the monsters. Oh, that red sky.
How many more? Is there really no end to these monsters? All we could do is try our best to block them here. How is it possible to stop them from being afraid? Who's ever seen a battle like this before? A vast field sprawls in front of them, countless terrifying looking monsters continuing to sprout from the ground. Behind those two, a large number of people queue up in a long line and march slowly towards the city's center. Cries erupt from the team. The two Mutianshis barely manage to erect a defensive line with their Originium arts, standing between the people and the, and the monsters. Excuse me. The ground beneath their feet shakes, and a few more cries burst from the ground. What happened? The plate was just disconnected from the core city. Control of the various soil parameters in the experimental plate depend on the core city's power supply. Now that it's been cut off, the field will become fallow. Hmm. Shall be a doozy. <laughs> I probably butchered that, I'm sorry. Where did these damned monsters come from? All our years of hard work ruined because of you. I've never been wronged like this in all my years here. Damn right, why the hell should we run from these? These beasts want to destroy our land and swallow up our crops, so we're gonna fight them until the very end. Fight them to the very end. Come on, let's take the fight to them. Be careful, everyone. Someone picks up a hoe left in the field and turns to rush at an unknown monster. The hoe falls heavily upon the monster's head, causing the creature to stagger. The farmers desperately pick up whatever objects lie at their disposal, throwing stones and farm tools at the monster. A haphazardly tossed bottle of pesticide shatters against it, causing the monster to whimper. It's... working. It's... it's dead? It's working! We did it! I get it now, these things were transformed from the pests in the field! Malega! Malega! Buzzy! They're not monsters at all. Nothing to be scared of. Gather up and let's get rid of the beasts messing with our crops. Others answer the call. More and more people picking up whatever tools they can get their hands on and joining the defensive line. Some even sing at the top of their lungs. Let the wild plains, rivers, and mountains come. Harsh is the east wind, the frozen moon, heaven's fickle, raging thunder. May the scent of rice fill heaven and earth, north and south, near and fear neither drought nor flood. If only I was the wind and spring rain, bringing spring to the people. <laughs> Uncle, don't stop here. A few more steps and we'll be there. Ah, out of the way, out of the way! Oh, he collapsed. Ah. Uncle, what's wrong? Ugh, you need pressure on your wound. Don't worry, it'll be okay. We're almost there. I've carried injured burden beast home before, and you don't look heavier than them. Trust me, I can take you back. All of you, get out of my way! Gunkai! Stay away! Stay away from... Uh-oh. Her tiny body falls to the ground, the sound of ringing in the lumberjack's ears. He braces himself and lifts his weapon again. Pants heavily. <laughs> halt! She. Zu. Zu. She. Alright, come on down. Your mind has already reached its limit. Stand down. I don't want to have to kill another apprentice with my own two hands. Go back. There's a clever young lady waiting out there. We can't let her go without her parents. Even if she'll never recognize you again. Oh. Is that her dad? It's been difficult for all of you. I thought I'd head back to Dahuang to recover from my injuries, but imagine running into something like this. You better hope I don't get my hands on you, needle prick. The golden eccentric looks around and reaches for her belt. Where's my fan? The strange fabric seems aware of the danger and hesitates, not daring to draw closer. My sorry disciples, even after how I'm, s I'm not scared of these things. I flip the question around. After killing so many of them, why are these things not afraid of me? A billowing current of air sweeps up, the Tianchi's golden figure uplifting light and heat into a spatial distortion, incandescent white flames outlining the chasm in the wilderness. She snaps her fingers lightly. 
Long has she walked among us. Countless demons has she subdued. So who is she? Grow. Blacks, mulberry, and fields. Grow as the sun rises. Drive, all, drive away all evil and bring new light to heaven and earth. La la la, la la la. A cocoon is formed. It is time to weave. A foul beast flies by, in a domain not meant for foul beasts. In this place, the sun, the moon, the stars, the wind, the frost, the rain, the snow, the mountains, the rivers. None of it is meant to exist in the first place. But this particular foul beast picks up an ear of rice, flaps its wings, and tarries on the peak of a hill. Its heart beats and beats as if something is about to burst out. A gust of wind blows by causing the saplings to wobble. The rivers flow without cease, the water coursing. The mountains and rivers rise, the earth and soil, soil rumbling. The trees plant their roots, their shadows swaying. As if sensing something, the foul beast takes flight once more with ear of, the ear of rice in its mouth, two seeds of rice falling into the boundless patties. Swish, swoosh, swish, swoosh. A pair of eyes open. You, you've come back. Your face just now, it seems the expression folds of a feather flock together is indeed true. Okay, that's uh, that's some information. Is that Greenbud's dad? Is that why he likes her songs and stuff? But he always kind of scares her away when she gets too close. Interesting, interesting. But who is who is the girl? Because this is about, you know, walking among us and stuff for for a long time is there something more to her then how long has she been around is she a uh, reincarnation of Shenong? is she another sibling like what's the deal with her because she seems to be hiding and popping out like she was above the shrine of Shenong at the beginning and she threw the peach pits at the two guys that were coming up to say their their prayers or whatnot and uh, she scared them away. And and talking to Green Buds, she was talking like she was supposed to be in the school. But then hearing stuff like that, it's it's making me wonder. So, all right, HS dash eight. Here we go. Let's dig in more and see if we can answer these questions. Pitch black, <laughs> unfathomable depth without a shred of sunlight. Excuse me. The stifling atmosphere almost feels as heavy as the roof's own weight. The roof of a tomb. What's going on? Why am I back here? Wait, old thing still alive? I came to see you. Where's Hal? The sound emanates from behind the heavy door before her. You've been sleeping for so long and you're still as pissy as ever. Drop the scary act already. Can you even do anything after lying here all this time? Oh... Nothing to be afraid of, right? Shangshu? Which mountain is this? Why isn't there a single road sign? No, what year is it even? Judging from the houses by the road, this looks like Shangshu before it went nomadic. Why does it look like the city I saw when I first got here? Ding dong. A man hangs from a steep clip S steep cliff with a rope. Steep, steep clip. Okay. Steep cliff with a rope, engraving a sentence with the hammer and chisel in his hands. Way, you open the mountain. What you doing? You don't know who I am. Why would I? It was I who designed and created this city. Oh, that's pretty cool. The catastrophe's about to arrive, and everyone's already evacuated. But the disaster will destroy all the houses I built. I can't let it happen just like that. The fifth year of Jingyan, when I had arrived here and stayed for three decades, record of Shangshu City. <clears throat> I'm carving how I crafted the city and onto this cliff so future generations will remember my achievements. But the catastrophe's just around the corner. You're risking your life for this. What if a thunderbolt cleaves the mountain into two? Wouldn't your hard work be in vain? I couldn't care less. This is the only thing I can do. 
Why even bother living if no one will know my feats? How do you even live like that? Fine, just keep working. I'll disturb you no more. Wait, where does this mouth mountain path leave? Lead. I don't know. It's you. Sir, I wish for you to grant me a sword. What for? To save, to avenge. I've told you, my swords don't come cheap. What are you offering? My life. Again? I should have said no already. Do you hate me for giving you that rusty piece of scrap metal? What am I saying? This is just an illusion. But you do remember me. Just thinking about the screen that screenplay draft, I still can't help but wonder if the story would have ended differently had I given you a proper blade then. How can someone so remarkable and knowledgeable show compassion to a nobody like me? A mere mortal life is honestly worthless to you. Hey, don't go that far. I still like you mortals a lot. You look at us as if you're watching a play. Your casual acts can add a little marvel to the show and change the fates of countless people. Sometimes you'll even be in the mood to join us for a few songs, but in the myriad of plays, you're the only one off stage. You've been alone all along. Jeez, I didn't think I'd get this kind of hallucination. I'm tired. Just take the sword. It's made for proper combat. Let me see if the story ends differently. Sir, a young man asked me to deliver this package to you before the end of Dongxi. Before the day of Dongxi. Don't have the guts to see me in person? I suppose he's passed on by now. The bag is empty. Hmm. Countries turn to rust, a brief spark in the wind, a bubble gone without a trace. What's this? Huh. Sir, I've been anticipating this for a long time. You've been waiting for me? I'm puzzled by something that I'd like you to clarify. Do elaborate. I went to collect references at the edge of the city today and saw an odd foul beast perched by the riverbank. I've never seen a foul beast so beautiful. I was just about to whip out my brush and paper when it flapped its wings and vanished from sight. I tried to paint it from what I could remember, but I could not do it. Just let it go. Some things are beyond your control. That holds true for others, but I still call myself a painter for the time being, so I always want to capture it somehow. I've painted quite a lot of these past few quite a lot these past few years. I always thought one had to paint plenty of paintings and see many sights to make life worthwhile. But I finally realized that paintings are ultimately inanimate objects. What do you mean? The scenes I paint turn into a passing cloud a moment later. The more I paint, the more insignificant I feel my paintings become. That's only natural, no? One can only dream of seeing the entire land if one won't ma even make it to a hundred years of age. No, I think you still don't understand. Sir, I'd like to ask for some thoughts on this undeserving work of mine. First was Lungman. That one I don't know. That one's Yan or Yan. Not Yan. Um, what was this? Human. Human. This is uh, somewhere just out in the ruins. This was a background used during the Dark Knight. Dark Knight's memoir. This is a painting. My painting. This is the view we ignorant mortals see. Even one like you, with all the views you have seen, are only a drop in the ocean when compared to the tumultuous changes this land has experienced over the last millennium. Please, take a good look once more, for we only have this one dusk. Halt brush, wind scroll, as besotted as drunk, one dusk to ash. They're growing well. Did you plant all these? Shoo! The people here did. As you said, I can't use my abilities to meddle with their growth. I'll disappear one day, but these people will still be here for a long time. You've worked so hard. It's been a while, Shu. How very strange. That brother of mine has been telling me he's seen you in his dreams lately. 
Why do you keep thinking about me? Are you getting nostalgic with age? You know how to make fun of me too now. People here all remember a Shennong who compiled the 24 GHE solar terms, taught them how to till the land, and even risked her life to cultivate a vast expanse of frozen soil into fertile fields. How can I bear that title on my own? We achieved it all together, so why put everything on my shoulders? It's been so long. Is there still a difference between you or me? All I remember is someone taking me in when I was wandering about aimlessly like a child and giving me a home. <clears throat> She told me I needn't care about the differences between man and beast. That I should live as a human, just live as a human. I didn't expect you to stay here even now. I promised you I would. To stay and guard this land so people wouldn't have to go hungry. Oh, Shu, have you ever resented me? A thousand years. What can you call this devotion? This is clearly incarceration. Even though your consciousness is gone, you're still trapped here by your ties to this land rather than go free. All because of one mistake I made. I don't resent you for it. Only myself. For not going north in your place. Shu, you know I've never seen you as a Xi'an. The whole time we were together, I almost forgot that you weren't mortal. I only realized when we parted ways, I had my own selfish motives. A human selfishness. I wanted to beg you to stay, to continue helping the people here. All of my kin need you. But I wasn't sure if you would love them as you loved me. I'm afraid I've let you down. So we failed in the end, right? You never found the seeds, and I never managed to grow crops on originium-tainted soil. We couldn't, be, we couldn't even protect this land. Man can prevail over nature. But when will that happen for real? Shu, do you regret it? <clears throat> you knew that everything I said would come to pass, didn't you? Yes, I always knew. You shouldn't have met me here. You're only a shred of consciousness left in this device, and I'm a memory within. I am you. Bitey? Gah! <laughs> Dusk's little creature. Her <laughs> ink creature. Bitey. You're still here. I'm always with you. A command to wanton rage and greed for life and fear for death. I nearly forgot why I even created you back then. No place of peace, no place of place amidst high mountains or waters far, no matter to me free amidst the human realm. I've been muddle headed for so long that I even lost track of why I'm awake. <clears throat> Whoever said you had to paint the entire realm to be considered an artist? Just paint a realm and true it be. The painter brandish, brandishes her blade and mounts rise in succession. I am me, and what I see is all. Way, wake up. Lava. Must be back to neon. Oh, lava the purgatory. The director can't be sleeping on set, right? That's crazy irresponsible. What's wrong with taking a snooze when you're tired? Which one are we shooting this time? Mecha Ferenmut versus Ferenmut. Oh, isn't that the screenplay I stashed away in the bottom of my drawer? You mean it's that bad? I swear, this year's the last one. Anything can be spun into a good story. That's what legends and strange tales are. I gotta ask, Little Lava. What makes you so willing to humor me for so long? A legendary weapon you promised. When are you going to give it to me? Sure enough, you're still after that. Would you miss me if I were to vanish one day without a trace? For good? Nope. If that day comes, no one will remember you. The weapons, tools, cities, and those films you made will all vanish. You know that. You're right. I shouldn't be seeing you here, either. Yeah, you called it. The dumb stuff I waste time on again and again all amounts to nothing in the end. But I can't help it. I just want to have some fun and leave some memories behind. Leaving something behind and have fun. That's enough for me. Thanks, little lava. It was pretty fun making trouble with you at Rhodes Island. Humiliating. I ended up giving myself a lecture with something I crafted with my own hands. Letting people go through these old and irrelevant memories just like that is really something. <laughs> well, enough of that. We answered that question when we managed to split off in the chaos. You're just a heart. 
so stop dreaming about taking us back in. We worked hard to be free from that pitch black tomb. We're not about to go back to living under your shadow, old thing. So I'll... To bits! Hmm. Ooh. Let's go! Take them all by Yeah, storm. I didn't mess with them at all when I did this before. Follow me. I just stacked this area pretty much. Anything outside the plan? I'll judge for myself. A valiant struggle. But you won't get away. Crossroads. And see, there's no blight in there yet, so. light in there, and I doubt this is going to help, but I'm going to put her there and let her have at it, because these guys will just kind of like fall in this hole. Target marked. We need... Awaiting orders. Shut up. Oh, we have a little bit of blight in the fields now. Spring breeze, timely rain. Now we have a pass. No, 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 no. I wasn't supposed to act. Clear skies for Qingming, rain clouds for Gu Yi. Please come to your senses, Professor. Okay, this is a little bit rough. Initiation. I complete. think we're okay. How soon do you want them gone? I should have aimed her the other way, but that's all right. Awaiting orders. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna Still hurt. Things over, use your weapon to tell you okay. 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 Here come all these things. And they're gonna do a lot of damage, aren't they? Show. I wasn't supposed to act. Ah, clear skies for Qingming, rain clouds for Gu Yu. Just put Pookie there, just to have a little bit of fun. Don't be afraid. And heal that wound in no time. Things over, Doctor Perfectionist. And what purpose do you think your sacrifice will serve? You want my opinion? Still soaking yourself in the past? Okay. Someone crying. Target marked. Gotta keep them alive, but we are in bad shape here. This is not good. We're gonna lose Texas. Yep, there we just lost Shu, we lost Texas. This is, uh, rough. Yeah. Ooh, that's a hard one. That's a puzzle. Okay, let's redo it. Let's try it again. 
Hold my hand tight and your breath with it. What comes next might be a little disorienting, but press on. Good. I suppose you've already got a plan. I'll be careful. Really incapable of clear skies for Qingming, rain clouds for Guo Yu. Okay, I want to put Amiya down here. Put him up top here. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Let's put an end to this show, pronto. Please give your orders, Professor. And what purpose do you think your sacrifice will serve? So I want to put Uki here. Solid positioning. Amiya down below. This hunt has dragged on for too long. Please give your orders. Temperature stable. Valiant. I'll plant you into the soil to grow anew. Doctor? Please, come to your senses! Program initializing. Giving mode enabled. Yeah, we've got him you taken care of pretty well because this that? isn't super blighted that it's like end of the world sort of thing. I don't have enough to put... What's her face out though? Breaker, but you know what? We'll hold on to her. We've got four pretty solids here that we can utilize fairly well. See, those don't count towards this, which is interesting. That's all right, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, he's you out, so let's put Breaker in. And then we're going to use Shu's ability. Rain clouds for Guo Keep it slow. Hold on to Degenbreaker's Breaker's ability for now. Because... 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Degenbreaker's Breaker's and I Dagon Breaker will use first just because she seems to be in the worst shape. Them. Still mulling things over. Emotion is meaningless here. Please give your orders. This may be a little hot. I wasn't supposed to sow the mountains when summer leaves the white dew. Seed the plains when Equinox paints russet hue. 
And what oh, 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 we got it. Sacrifice we self. got it. Let's go stack the line with Shu in the center, baby. That helped. That's a, like having her out there is not only a defense, but a like medic, like an extra medic in a sense. She's definitely really good. I wouldn't say like so far that she's really too OP, but her ability to teleport enemies back is unique. I haven't really, I don't think I've had that happen too many times, maybe once or twice yet. I don't know, I'd have to go back and watch, but her ability to heal and keep the people around her healed with having two additional medics. It's like having a third medic, but also a defense right in the middle there. That really, really helped that stage. One small adjustment, a couple other, couple other little minor adjustments really helped that to, to get that stage beat. But we have one more. <laughs> We're getting there, baby. Here we go. There's too many. We can't handle them all. We might even manage to save the nearby fields. Might not even manage to save the nearby fields. The situation is dire. We should prioritize saving the people. Am I imagining things? It don't seem as fearsome as before. What's that sound? This plague is separating from the core city. As I thought, the vitality of these monsters is bound to Da Huang's energy core. So once we break that connection, they'll grow weaker. Hold on. Has everyone managed to evacuate here? We've notified the entire city, but is everyone here? Everyone from residential sections 1 to 4 is here. Sections 9 through 12, all present. Everyone from 6 to 8 is here, but we haven't heard back from the group dispatched to section 5. What? They were on their way to the city center when they encountered a patch of farmland under attack. Things were going badly, and that's when we lost contact. The energy core is broken down and our communication systems went with it. I'll go look for them. Wait. You're always, you always chide me for acting tough. But now you're dashing ahead of us. We don't even know how many monsters are swarming the place and you plan on charging forward alone. That's my experimental plot. I know it better than anyone else. The residents there usually help me with the farm work. I even lied to them saying my research was going well lately. It's fine if you want to go. Just take me along. I run fast too. I can help. You're not from here. You've got nothing to do with the people here, and you're even a young year younger than I am. Hei Sheng was promoted to an intermediate Nongye Tianxi in the year 1101 at the age of 17. You. When I was looking through the intel on Da Huang, I checked the Tianxi Bureau's roster and found you're a year younger than me. So no need to act tough at such a critical juncture, boy. Shall I say Tao? Do you normally speak like this back home? I never speak like this. Xin Kui. Jin, Jin Chiu. Well, enough talk. Let's go already. All right. That's enough sugar for today. Under the water. Was the legend a lie? The blurry rice paddy stretched to the horizon. This is a patch of living, fertile land. The wind plays ever so, ever so. The wave of rice as a song. A nascent consciousness is born here, and a voice speaks to her. You're back. You seem exhausted. Are you alright? So, you're already awake. Where am I? Have I always been here? Why do I have memories from long ago? I saw so much. War. Death. Plague. Famine. The disaster from above. The roof washes over over the land, <clears throat> leaving only devastation behind, followed by endless war and upheaval. Civilizations perish. Life fills with dread. Why am I trapped in here? Just who am I? I feel so frightened. The outside is frightening. Pain. I can hear the cries of many. How can I put a stop to all this suffering? I remember now. Someone gave me a name. Sui. I am you. Ooh. <laughs> the weeds overgrow, drowning the entire land. The longest dark of night con condenses into the single moment. <gasps> oh, how pretty. No, you're just a shadow. My shadow. But it isn't your suffering. It belongs to the people of this land. 
No. You fear because you haven't really lived yet. You don't know how this great land truly is. This world isn't frightening at all. But you've never seen crops being harvested or people cheerfully laughing. You've never seen countless creatures vying to survive, enduring hardship, and continuing to thrive. You should take a closer look if you get the chance. I am no longer an arrogant and lonesome Ferenmut, nor am I a soul adrift all on my own. I have lived a real life here together with the infinite variety life on this, con on this continent. A drop of dew drips down, injecting life that spans across time into the land. Sleep. <clears throat> Twilight red sets on the stalks. These earthly strivings kissed by dew. Millennia reap me now in a single tender shoot. Over here, help! Ah, stay away! What? Are, are, are we saved? Uncle Wang, why are you still here? Are you alright? Shohei! I knew you'd come back! Jean... Jean Guile. These beasts just appeared out of nowhere and started chewing up all the crops here. But don't worry, we protected the plot well and didn't let a single beast pass us. He collapsed. Uncle Wang! It's alright, he's only fainted from shock. The whole field is sinking inch by inch, a hu and huge fissures can be seen across the fields in the distance. The communication equipment's not working at all. The two Mutianshis don't know where there's still people here, and they've already begun disconnecting the plate. Let's hurry and move before it's too late! What a deep ravine! Have we been left behind? Pardon me! The young candle holder carries the farmer on his own and leaps into the air, crossing the gap in just a few steps. You, you're amazing! Zuala goes back and forth between the two separated plates, transporting, one by one, those left behind to safety on the other side. But the space between the plates continues to expand at a speed visible to the naked eye, and his steps gradually grow heavier. Until the last trip, when a gust of wind blows him back up as he almost loses his footing. Careful now! Many thanks. Everyone's safe now, so hold on to me and I'll bring you over too. There's more of them? Don't get distracted! You're using your arts too much. No need to worry about me. The students of the Tianxi Bureaus aren't as weak as you think. The duo work together to repel a few monsters, but as they dispatch the beasts, the vertical disparity of both plates escalates before their eyes. The distance of about 15 meters seems an unsurmountable chasm to the two. Damn it! Are we stuck here? This plate is about to fall, so we'd best prepare for impact. Find somewhere with soft soil and hide it. To hide in it. And we might. I never noticed till now that Da Huang's plates were built so high. So, well, uh, how many people did we save? Don't worry, I did a head count earlier and everyone who was here was already made it over. Cheer up. We just have to find a way to make it back alive and this rescue mission will be a complete success. The legends always say as long as everyone stands together, we'll make it through any crisis, no matter how dire it gets. Everyone's been taking care of me all these years, and I've never managed to pay them back. But today... Hei Sheng struggles to finish his words, and Zuo realizes a bright red stain is seeping through the other's white shirt. You're hurt! When did you... I'll stop the bleeding! Zuo La, let me give you something. Right now? This is my Tianxi apparatus with important data inside. You have to keep it safe no matter what happens. Alright, I'll take it. A Sheng ties an originium device tightly to Zuola's hand. He hits the switch, and the little thing rapidly unfolds into a kite. What are you doing? I was hard on you before, but I've realized you have a good heart. So I can't leave you here. The youth exerts the last vestiges of his strength, and a gust of wind rises. Zuola flies into the air, carried by the kite before he can even react. The plate below shrinks, bit by bit, along with Hei Sheng's silhouette. But Zuala can make out, a, make out the shapes of a few remaining monsters on the field rushing towards the shrinking figure. I don't know where you came from, but I'm not scared. Oh no. Huh? Hmm. Everybody's getting hurt or something! This is terrible! Oink. <laughs> it's oinkers. You awake? Hey, wake up! 
Wait, you hear that? Seems like he's still breathing. Make way! Is it Green Buds? I... Yan Mian. Concern nudging. Stop licking me! I don't have any treats on me! Yu Xing opens his eyes to find himself lying in a field surrounded by a plethora of worried faces. He seems to have returned to a day he does not remember, the first day he came to this land. Is everyone all right? I... Everyone was about to look for you when Mian Mian suddenly showed up in to with you in tow. But why did you... Thank you for saving me. Monsters, did we beat them? Yes. So the beast somehow brought him back. Interesting. The dark clouds scatter, the bloody afterglow fades, another sunset sprinkles a golden twilight all over the fields. Is... Is it over? It's over. We won, right? What Shenong did then? We've managed it too! Indeed. Someone's managed to get the energy core under control. We did it! Looking back at it all, isn't this the birth of a new legend? <laughs> Now that things have died down, we should head back. Wait, if my eyes don't deceive me, that's... Plate A5, the Wanqing experimental plot! In an overgrown field nearby stands a single rice stalk. Suola, help me out! What do, what do you want to go... Why do you want to go back? It's still dangerous. What? What is it? It worked! We did it! What Ching, the 10,000 Ching of Fertile Fields! All's not lost! There's still hope for us! The youth happily carries the rice plant, with a slight lunacy to his laughter. What exactly? You'll probably just say you wouldn't understand, even if I told you, right? I'll just take you at your word. For these creatures to grow, they must endure a calamity. Those that survive will break out of their cocoons. Those that do not will have their lives quietly snuffed out in the darkness. No living being can escape the cycle of destruction and rebirth. What exactly is he planning? The Farron Moot's heart! Ooh. We meet again. Your presence here must mean you figured out my plans, Lord Swo. What are you doing? Weaving, as you can see. Weaving what? Something for sale once it's completed, of course. For sale to whom? It's standard practice to keep customer information confidential. What's that on the cloth? Scenes from across, across the country, or perhaps, to phrase it in your words, the splendor of Yan. I spent many years traveling across Yan, visiting every city, and Da Huang is my final stop. Only today, do I consider this bolt of cloth complete? One should use dyes of an appropriate quality for a design this beautiful. Is there any material better than Yan's splendor to dye this weave? My hundred scenic portraits of great Yan. Countless bolts of silk and satin seem to descend from the heavens, every bolt a city, a piece of history, a facet of worldly plight. The nation's splendor, no, it shouldn't be, it should be the hearts of the people. Just look at how brilliant the brocade is. All the colors of their souls I've seen. How could I dislike this mortal realm? Hmm. We may have achieved a perfect victory, but we still can't let our guard down. Very, very interesting. So what's he going to be up to in the final part? HS-9. All right, HS-9, boss fight time. Let's see how we can do. Let's get a little water in us real quick. In preparation. And here we go. So this is what heaven looks like to those insignificant souls. For the first time, I walked out of the chaos and void into these lands. Where did I come from, and where am I going? I still carry memories of that enormous body, and I seem to have some 
kind of divine power, as well as a lifespan that far exceeds those of the masses I see before me. But like a confused child, I followed the people I saw and imitated what they did. After a great length of time, I met two teachers. There is a barren swath of land in the northern reaches of Yan. I'm trying to reclaim the farm reclaim and farm the uncultivated fields there with the locals. It's fun to watch crop after crop grow out of the soil. If you don't know where to go, why don't you come give us a hand? What is the place like? Hmm, it's much colder than the towns here. Plus those things from beyond the door are a bit dangerous. But you wanted to find out what man is like. It might just be the perfect place for you. You'll have all the time you need to find your answer. That was when I found out for the first time that there was a concept as camaraderie. There was such a concept as camaraderie between living beings. Maybe this is why they were able to defeat those enormous beings. How strange. It was hailing furiously last night, but the crops are all fine. Maybe luck is on, your, on our side. Maybe Heaven saw how hard we worked the fields and decided to have mercy. Gee, this is your doing, isn't it? I simply thought it would be a shame for a hail to destroy the hard work and effort that everyone put in over the past the last six months. Everything in this world lands... moves according to its own set of rules. When a season's harvest is ruined, you can bury it to fertilize the soil and help the next year's crops grow even better. You saved this field's harvest this season, but how many fields are there like this one in Yan? How many mouths are there to feed at the mercy of heaven? You did this out of the kindness of your heart, but mankind needs to learn to survive on these lands by itself. Will you leave one day too? Of course. But this swath of land will be here forever. Life will exist forever. We should hope. Everything under heaven has its own position. But we live between heaven and earth like rootless trees, destined to drift about. No cause and no effect, no beginning and no end. Where should we return? Times change. You're a merchant here for grain, you say? There are droughts everywhere this year. I heard the granaries in the north have surplus, so I'm here to purchase grain to resell where the situation is more dire. Heaven and her rainstorms show no mercy. The farmers have it hard. A famine year is not necessarily a bad thing for farmers, though. You speak nonsense, my good gentleman. How could a famine be a good thing for farmers? Simple wisdom. The more severe the famine, the more their harvests earn them. Compare 500 caddies at 1, one, one wen per caddy to 100 caddies at 10 wen per caddy. Even a three-year-old can calcu calculate which is the better deal from a seller's perspective. I've lived here ever since I was a child. The only way I know to use food is to feed the masses and save li lives. To think such wisdom existed in the lands outside. You haven't seen what it's like outside Dahuang. Not everyone is, is a Xi'an that can see only the abyss but not the water that fills it. If all one does is guard these plots, how is he or she meant to understand all the wisdom under heaven? Young man, my caravan needs someone to help manage our affairs. Might you be interested in coming with us to the lands outside? Hmm. Oh, the inn and human. Get me a room. Per the old rules, the cargo goes in the warehouse. You pay first, then you get your room. You said you wanted to get in the tea business because of all the tea farms sprouting up around Shangshu over the last two years. How come you brought out, bought out these inns instead? How much do you reckon a truckload of Shangshu greens can earn when transported from here to Baizhou, and how much in tariffs will the court make? If the journey to Baizhou is uneventful, a 20% profit would be a fairly good return to me. Now how much do you reckon I can make here with all the tea merchants coming and going, even the ones unwilling to pay their taxes? When you put it that way, certainly you are in a more lucrative business. But I also noticed that you withheld some of the cargo for the mandarins. Now that is my other line of business. The people working in the government need something to show too. Are you not afraid of the mandarins looking for trouble or the tea merchants turning against you? That wouldn't be a very good bargain to them. Without me, the tea merchants would have to pay their fair share in taxes or take the risk to find another route. 
Without me, the government would have to spend a hefty sum to get their hands on tips about smugglers, or say the merchants ended up revolting. How much would it cost to quell this revolt? A win for all three parties. Indeed, an unusually lucrative line of business. We've been in Shangshu for long enough. I'm starting to grow tired of the cuisine here. Let's hand the business off and head east. East? What kind of business awaits us there? Mining? Grain transport? Whatever earns us money, that's what we'll do. This time, I mainly want to go to go home to have a look around. You asked me before if there exists a wisdom that stands true everywhere. All under heaven live for profit and die for profit. Be it law and morality, faith and honor, there is nothing under heaven that cannot be accounted for in a ledger. Thank you for that. It's like he realized something. That is indeed what I saw. I'm starting to understand. My dear sister, I've settled an account. All these years, each of us have lived lives across Yan and recorded our own gains and losses on our perspective le respective ledgers. Daga found his own path, but he found himself an outlier in this mortal realm. A place in which he cannot love, hate, or even let go. A loss. Ling has lived a carefree life. This realm cannot bind her. She finds her own joy, a prophet. And our younger sisters, not necessarily incisive. But they have little that troubles them. They are breaking even. As for Erga, our second eldest brother. Well, Jie is dead. No matter how you slice it, a tremendous loss. Our family has been under the Yanis' thumb for over a millennium. I truly cannot see how we are gaining anything from this transaction. Most importantly is you, my dear sister. Has the question of profit never really crossed your mind? A substitute? Yes. I place my bet on a conclusion. For revenge and for us. How is it even possible? One twelfth is no match for the whole. What are your chances? How confident are you? I have worked this out over a long time. There are nineteen lives on a Wei Chi board. Both horizontal and vertical lines. All the moves one could make have already been calculated. The white players compensated seven and a half points, giving black less than half a winning chance. Truly a most difficult task on my own. That is why I need your help. If I were to tell you there remains a shred of hope that, it, that this is the only one and only way, would you be willing to put your wealth and life on the line? You catch up fast. Perhaps it's time to give an explanation for your actions. What form of explanation would you like, Lord Zuo? You roused demons to lay harm to the citizenry, seized the country's fortifications, and even plotted against other proxies. Given your actions, your crimes are far worse than Wang's. I may have some objections to your charges, but what would you like to do here? Hand over the cloth and return to the capital under Sui Regulator supervision. And what will I get in return? A chance at a fair trial. A shame that it is not a price I am willing to pay. You would make an enemy of Yan. If I would, what could you possibly do? Swilla takes a step forward and unsheathes his blade. Is it really so much fun to pick on mortals? Ah, it's you. Not bad, kid. You managed to tail him all the way here. Gotta hand it to you. But this is a family matter. You Sui Regulator folks will have to give us some personal space. Hmm. You escaped the heart. You are moving faster than I anticipated. Seems my little sisters have grown up. Don't talk like we're all getting along. What do you think this is, a test? And here I thought you were actually trying to off us. Don't be ridiculous. So you've been laying low all these years to weed this cloth. Making clothes out of Yon's splendor, not bad. He needs this before he goes to see it. Having traveled all around Yon, I thought it a shame when I finally decided to leave Da Huang into it. Weave Da Huang into it. So you two, you two are in this together. And he's finished preparing already? I should have figured. You get along with the Wei Chi failure the best. 
Don't act like you don't know what you're t what taking your cloth out of this place means. This is a straight-up declaration of war against Yan. And? You're saying... Sang, my third brother, and truth be told, out of all my older older siblings, you're one of the ones I like best. I always feel like the two of us crank out some pretty sick ideas. Remember how I helped you sell fakes of Dusk's paintings that one time? You what? But I'm sorry, this is way overdoing it, even for me. A shame. From the looks of it, you're not on my side either, Dusk. In your dreams. It's been a few centuries since we've had a family reunion with more than three of us. To think that the first thing we'd be doing is fighting among ourselves, just like all those years ago. What's the deal? Reminiscing on old times? If we can talk this out peacefully, I would rather us not come to blows. How could I possibly raise a hand against my little sisters? Drop the big talk already. It's two against one. The odds are stacked against you. Well, we'll just have to see how it all turns out then. This time, not even the army of the, that great wild hunt years ago could stop me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't know if we'll do this. I don't know if we'll do this. We're going to try, though. Direct memory access for application map. And enemy coordinates authorized. Please stand by. 2021. We're putting shoe out. War. A word I've not heard in a long, long We're putting time. her out because I need somebody that can stand against him pretty well. I wasn't supposed to act, but clear skies for teaming, rain clouds for green. All the best. I wasn't supposed to act, but Oh no! I'm gonna lose her? Okay, well that sucks. Oh, he's really damaging to her. Okay. I don't know what and if I need to do anything with that. <laughs> See, I can't do anything to him. Why am I not damaging it? I don't understand that. Let's begin. Yeah, there's, like, nothing I can do for him. See, I had watched somebody... We gotta restart that, because that's... Hmm. I had watched somebody fight that solo with penance. They had penance and Shu in their thing, and Shu was only there to tank the little thingies that are flying, but they soloed it with penance. And I don't have her on this account. I have her on that one, but she's not completely up to par. Um... Born from the heart of an awakened Farron mode, a thousand years, molts after taking a certain amount of damage when HP drops. Need to work on the blight level of a patty. Slumbering Asui will continuously absorb and condense blight into a spear that deals a large amount of damage. Hmm. Let's do a let's do a practice run. So I want to mess with defenders and things here. Obviously, Shu did nothing to it, but... The hunt begins. We're fighting you guys. Then please, do your bestest job. I'm trying to put Blemish on, but she's probably not going to do anything either. It doesn't help you've got those things attacking, too. I'll be careful. See, that doesn't do anything. That one shot at her. How horrible. Let me create a diversion. Susie is doing nothing. Doctor? Please, come to your senses! Death is in my eyes. Yeah, that's... 
she does the most damage. So you need some sort of like an arts defender to be able to... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Uh, let me see. Let me see what teams... What teams I have here. Got my backup squad. Third squad, fourth squad. Hmm. I need somebody like I feel that can do massive damage. But I need to keep him at range. And <laughs> yeah, see, the other thing that was strange about it is in the the trailer when they showed that thing being fought they showed somebody like basically soloing it with Sarder. she's a healer or like a guardian like medic defender can heal allies by using skills next attack restores hp equally to 110 percent of attack to a nearby friendly unit less than 50 hp hmm but that's not what I need. Deal 70% of attack physical damage to enemies that attacks Hoshiguma. See, it goes around in circles down below. I don't know if maybe we just bait it into the bottom. And just worry about attacking it down there and have somebody up top that can fight it. A little like or, or fight fend off the mini thingies. Let's let's try something like that. Just as a quick thought here. Cause mainly the enemies all come from below. There's not a lot that comes from up top here. Reap not what's sown by malice. We're gonna put her here and see if she if if she will kind of tank these. Yeah, okay. She's cool with that. Alright, alright, alright. Spring breeze, timely rain. Now we sow the grain. Wasn't supposed to act. Clear skies for Qingming, rain clouds for Guoyu. Target marked. Please give your order. Pass that. Ready, ready. Don't worry. It's safe here. We create a diversion. Initiation. Initiating. If you're really incapable of settling this, sow the mountains when summer leaves the white dew. Seed the plains when equinox paints russet hue. Okay, so we've gotten the top there. That's not going to do anything. I hear someone crying. You can go do something else. Let's see, this isn't this isn't working at all. I mean, that's hurting it, but anything outside the plan, I'll judge for myself. But you won't I don't know if this will work, but Target marked. 
I had to wait for it to charge up, but Professor, screw it. We gotta we gotta launch. Crap. That's not good. But attack, I feel what are you doing? What are you doing? The things the things there. Ooh, we're damaging it. I mean it absorbed, but sure, like Keep it going. What do we, what do we got going on here? War. A word I've not heard in a long, long time. I wasn't supposed to clear skies for Oh, two wait months. a second. No freaking way. No way! Oh, now I just need to beat these guys. Unreal! Did I actually... What? What? No way! Doctor, that is unreal! I don't remember the layout of how I did this! I just three-started on a practice run! Wow! What a perfect calculation. And I didn't do that on my main account, which is better than this! Holy crap! Okay, wait a second. We are trying this again. How did I do that? I, Fiala. I put Blemish Shine up top. I didn't do anything else. I put Blemish Shine up top. <laughs> you people. I feel on the I bottom. I even remember your faces after this one. Anyway. 19, 20. <laughs> she goes up here, and that's all I had to do. Okay. Dude, that is incredible. That is insane. Hi, Fiola. Amia goes here, Shu here. Amia. And I had medics. Oh, wait, we're, we're gonna put Shu out first. No, Shu goes here. War. A word I've not heard in a long, long time. Target marked. If you're really incapable of clear skies for team, rain clouds for food, this may be a little hard. Or here. I had one of those things pouring down in there like that. Initiation. Activating art unit. Jumbi Kanyo! Alright, we need Pookie out here. She goes here, we lose her, which is fine. I think that's because of the, the thingies. And I need Exusie out there. I hear someone crying. Follow me! And we put him out. If you're really incapable of settling this, then let me handle it. Outside the plan, or just for myself. Branch and bone bear weeds. Mounds and ruins bloom fields. Okay. Speed this up just a little bit. Don't feel you can heal that wound in no time. His dog can't go out there. I might have actually put him up there, in which case. That might be a problem. Professor, watch out for fires. Finish it! Uh, we're gonna lose shoe. Ooh, that's not good.
Oh man. Archinet charging. And what purpose do you think your sacrifice will serve? that we can't do anything with that. Ah, oh, we're losing. We're losing here. Doctor? Shit. Your we were close. But I forget how... Even a well-crafted gun will jam sometimes. <sighs> Life is no different. So don't worry about it. I lost shoe. How did I do that the first time? I almost had it there. But I did something different. Because shoe, I didn't lose shoe. Please take good care of yourself while I'm gone. We're fighting you guys. Then please do your bestest job, or I'll be really bored. What I'm gonna do... Not that it's gonna matter much, but... I think I'm gonna get Texas out here. Just as a quick change, I'm gonna use her in Pookie's place. Not that it's gonna matter, but to try and generate some DP a little bit quicker. I mean, sure, that does kind of take away, but... Awaiting orders. You can't stop me. I feel is out now. She's here. Again? I'm freaking real. Anything outside the plan? I'll judge for myself. This hunt has dragged on for okay. too long. We've got him removed there. But this is where stuff becomes problematic. Slow it down. Okay, shoe's almost back. I can redeploy her. Spring breeze, timely rain. Initiating healing process. We get Ifiala's thing up here. Shoe, activate. And bone bear We're gonna let Degenbreaker Mines do some attacking here, too. I know what you're thinking. She's almost to where I can unleash her technique, which will be amazing. Still mulling things over, the conviction will throw you off. Oh my god, I've got it. I got the slumbering Asui down. Now, it's just to finish the enemies, the rest of them. Finish these guys as they come down. Wow, we beat him badly this time. A lot better, arguably. Professor, this may be a little hot. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Branch and bone bear. We gotta keep our heals going. That's our biggest issue is the healing. But They'll be able to tank away. that. We're gonna have a bunch of little guys here. Which, you know what? I'm okay with. That's fine. Whatever. If we lose him, I'll put this in. 
That's it. These are the last two. Oh, yes! Let's go! We did it! <laughs> Woo! God, does that feel good! Yes! Whoever thought it'd snow like this? The field's ridges have been covered with a thick layer of despair, in inducing white. The bits of yellow dotting it are the heads of grain that were la laboriously planted only a month prior. How many plants would still be alive after ten days? One dares not think. A must be stumbles around, barging into the silent field of wheat. Even the sparse crops in front of it are unexpected joy. It sniffs around carefully, calculating how much it needs to tide it over, and how much would be left to take back to the cave to feed its kin. Until a thick metal hoe crashes down on its spine. Three more heads of wheat are gone. The angry farmer snatches the beast that has been ruining the crops, so angry that he wants, its, wants to skin it to make a meal. However, the carcass is so emaciated that it hardly weighs more than a few tails. With a long sigh, the farmer digs a hole in the ground and buries the beast's body. Poor thing. Hardship strikes at will. Such occurrences are common. If the wheat dies in this freeze, how many people will perish next year? A great many. But there will also be many who come to their aid, and a lot of them will survive. Life itself will not cease. The firmament is as a veil. The ethereal satin silk seems to be infinitely weighty, firmly separating the two combatants and pressing towards them. Neon, let's wrap it up. It took a considerable amount of effort to build this heart for you. It would be a terrible shame to see it torn apart in such conflict. You aren't in a position to be making small talk yourself. I nearly took your head off with that firecracker blast just now. Where'd all that destructive might of yours go? Why wouldn't you make a... Why don't you make a massive pair of scissors and cut this little, his little fabrication to bits? You put some effort into it too. He's about to turn your painting into paper craft. Oh, it's my fault now? Cut me some slack here. He just turned that big old firecracker I built into a pile of threads. Has he always been able to do stuff like that? Didn't think he'd ever, ever have the will to work on his powers over the years. But the question is, why does he seem to have such a good grasp on what our powers are? Hold on. Is it really just one guy we're up against? Time's almost up. I truly would like to stick around to chat more, as rare as our reunions are. However, the unfortunate reality is that I am short on time and I must bid you farewell. I really wish I had didn't have to use this. The next time we meet, I will have to make amends. If we meet again, that is. To think you'd strike down your own sister. What a disgrace. Shoo! I didn't think you'd just go and disappear altogether, but... Are you alright? I sincerely hope you... You weren't just trying to scare us on purpose. Think of it as a much-needed rest. Sorry for worrying you. And here I was wanting to see my little brother again. Lo and behold, the scene I come back to. Does he really not see this place as home anymore? My dear sister. I know that look. That's the look on your face whenever you've done something wrong. How long has it been? 67 years. Then you'll have to stay for dinner. If you have anything to say, you can say it at the table. I'm sorry, my dear sister. I can't listen to you this time. So you're taking orders from someone else now, huh? The one who's been behind the curtain this whole time. How much longer does he plan to stay hidden? Whatever it is, wouldn't it be better to tell me face to face? A man slowly walks forth from the distance, sauntering past the threshold of time immemorial. It's as if he has been there since the very beginning. Time and space halt with the sound of his footsteps. You finally decide to show yourself. There's a whole crowd. What a lively gathering. You all are still inclined to such excitement. Wait, didn't he go insane? The atmosphere of our little reunion isn't quite what I expected. What happens in the movies when a relative on the most wanted list suddenly shows up at your doorstep? Is he actually the real deal or just a shadow? 
Any shenanigans the Wei Chi failure tried to pull wouldn't surprise me at this point. It'd be a big deal if he pulled another Sui Jiang out of his ass, though. So what's the plan, Shu? Are we fighting? Shangshu, Yuman, and now here. Don't you think you've gone too far? Small sacrifices. <clears throat> Small sacrifices for the greater good. Each unto their own. Nothing more, nothing less. Look at all the devastated fields out there, and all the suffering people. I can't forgive you for talking like that. Upon careful consideration, there still remains two lines of inquiry regarding who owes this debt. Then, you stay here so we can tally it up. This account has been accumulating debt for over a thousand years. You haven't been here in a long time. There are things I must do. There is a battlefield to the north. When the troops assemble, I must stand on the front lines. Bleached bones exposed in the wild, where fowls sing not for a thousand li. After, after a thousand years of war, in the end, it is still the commoners in the fields who suffer. You care about them a great deal. The people you take so lightly are actually our teachers, in the truest sense. We take after their form, find things that interest us, and only then do we find our place in the world. We have nothing in common with them, not a single thing. What is so different about us? Fernmuts may have lives spanning tens of thousands of years, while mayflies die as quickly as they live, but in the end, we are all lives born under heaven. Everything that has a beginning must also have an end. Warfare and slaughter. Why exactly did you choose this path? What value do you see in it? Law and order. I recently learned a game, Wei Chi. The rules are simple. The underlying principles are quite similar to the art of war. It has demonstrated to me a singular wisdom. As chaotic and disorderly as things may appear, master the rules and the final outcome will fall into place. The final outcome that we've all seen all been so keenly focused on. This dead silence. This is the outcome that you see. Not just for us, but for all living things in these lands. Ironic. If death is the effect, then does that not make life itself the cause? Do you never get tired of standing watch here? Everything in existence is worthy of being cherished just as it is now. All things have their time. People, beasts, mountains, water, grass, trees. They are all alike in this regard. That is the Tao that people speak of. The grass becomes lush and green every spring. We have come and we have existed. Is that not enough? So you've resigned yourself to this end. That's not what you really think. I was simply wondering. Have we ever lived as our true selves? Wait. Don't tell me you... I've been contemplating this for a long time. Calculating. Finally, I have seen another outcome. Not far away, a green sapling pokes its head out from underneath the snow. I know you could see it, Shu. The haggard man stretches out his hand, his fingertips still covered with rough calluses. Can you read my palm for me? And the solitude. Kalpas blurred. Death nigh, inexorable. I'm very much looking forward to that. I shall be waiting. Hmm. Were you able to see her again? You know that wouldn't be possible. I often find myself thinking of her. She said that education is the great equalizer and wished for every person to be able to read and write. All those schools and books are her legacy. In what regard? In that regard, you are quite similar. But these last few years, I've forgotten many things, including her. About the books she wrote and the meaning held by a true name in one lone word. I can clearly recall that she once played a game with me. She wanted to tell me something during that game, but I've already forgotten what it was. I thought... Yes, even we cannot escape this influence. You have regrets. I want to find a remedy. A hundred and eighty-one fragments. Everyone thought you had lost your mind. Perhaps. What do you intend to do? I wish to return to that husk. I require its power. I will slay it, and then I shall become it. In using its power... I will plot a great windfall for all beings in this realm. It will cost you your life. But the rest of you will live and truly be yourselves. Shu, 
Lend me a portion of your power. The twelve of us. With each additional portion of strength comes another chance at victory. Vast farmland crisscrosses and this particular visitor places a piece on the Wei Chi board. Shu opens her palm and a handful of seeds fall onto the board. This must be your answer. You reap what you sow. And if you haven't veered off the path and really are heading towards our end, then these seeds will germinate at the right time and bear the fruit you desire. You will have conditions for me as well. We can't let you keep creating problems for us. Ah. And so concludes the discussions concerning my affairs. If there's anything else you should speak. You've really grown up, huh? Ready to fly the nest. I'm a thousand years old, my dear sister. I can't stop you. We had a big argument the last time I left. Would you leave me something to remember you by this time? You've already woven all of Da Huang into that brocade of yours. What else do you want to take from me? If you have a bit of remorse in there, you'd better come back alive. Fair enough. Dusk, can I ask one last thing from you? What? That painting. Can you give it to me up front? How did you... I will take good care of it. And with that, consider our accounts settled. Who said you could go? You again. The second Sui brother. Mi Ya Tingde. I knew you were behind this. Do you have nothing better to do? Done hiding out in your ruined temple playing your shitty game of Wei Chi, and now you've come to my turf to ruin everything? Look at the mess you've all made with your little spat here, and all the crops you've destroyed! See if I won't beat your ass right here and now! Watch out! The satin silk ignites upon contact with the incandescent white flames reduced to smoke and ash in the blink of an eye. Virginium arts that can reverse decomposition. When did you learn how to... No, that's not it. This is causality. Ha! Let's see how many more seeds you have left to withstand my flames. Tianxi. This might not be the best time to launch your attack. The Chamber of Heaven's designs has suffered grave losses. Any more wrong moves and Great Yan's entire northern defensive line may be imperiled. It is more than just that demonic taint that has eyes on no Yan's northern border, right? Stop trying to scare people! I swear, I'm gonna teach you a lesson if it's the last thing I do! Then, do you not care about all the other living, long-lived among you? You little... Ah, you feign lunacy to protect your mind from demonic contamination, but you've not forgotten your true purpose at all. Weigh the pros and the cons. Surely there's no reason we shouldn't be able to come to some accord until we meet again. <laughs> we still need to understand her! What's her deal? Uh, uh, they're breaking through. <laughs> Is it over? Yes, it's all over now. You were willing to throw away your life for this project. Why? To become renowned for such a grand accomplishment. And then what? I have a dream. Cities interconnected for 10,000 Li, stretching to the place of heaven. No longer would anyone cross this great land want for shelter from wind and rain. What is the point of being a Tianxi without any accomplishments to his name? Must you stand head and shoulders above the rest in order to lay the bricks of the city of your dreams? Are you one of the heavy, heavenly Xians? It'll trade you your life for your dream. I'll trade your life for your dream. Shallow breathing. The skybound white jade capital of twelve pagodas and five cities. Xion strokes my head, knots my hair, and grants eternal life. The sky-bound sky -bound white jade capital of twelve pagodas and five cities. Alas, could I get mansions of ten thousand chambers, I'd shelter all the needy under heaven, blessing them with joy. You're awake. Where am I? Don't worry, the monsters are gone. You saved me. I wouldn't say that. You were lying unconscious on the ground when I found you, so I went over to try and wake you up. Doshie. You're the old Xiangzhong of Dawang. 
Sheng, Xian, Xiang, Zhang of Dahuang. But the responsibility does not fall solely on your shoulders. It might not necessarily be a good deal to exchange your life for the safety and stability of this place. That's my choice to make. What matters is that Dahuang is safe. You care a lot about this place. Of course I care. I spent most of my life here, and my roots run deep. Mm-hmm. Take care of yourself. I'm off. Goodbye, Shu. You deserve your freedom. Incubator! The incubator! The rice plant can still be saved! There's still hope for the experiment! Here you are. I found it! Found what? This is the one rice plant, the one that survived the Wanqing Project's experimental plot! It isn't impossible to grow crops on origin in contaminated soil. Laoshi's experiments proved it! Wait... You're... Judging from your clothes... Are you a Shouye Tianxi from the Bureau? I don't think I've seen you before. Yes, I haven't been here very long. The young man scratches his head in confusion, as if he has forgotten something. It is as if he has dreamed a long dream, and the emotions from it still vaguely linger in his heart. He just can't remember the people he met or the things he encountered. After spacing out for a spell, the young man cracks a smile. I'm an apprentice of the Tianxi Bureau, called Hei Sheng. I guess I, I ought to call you Lao Shi for now. La Lao Shi now too. Hello, Hei Sheng. I just discovered a very important crop, one that can grow on soil contaminated by Originium. This has been a long-term project. As long as this crop can be widely distributed, we'll be able to reclaim tons of wasteland to, into usable farmland, and nobody will go hungry ever again. It might take a while to reach the goal, maybe even a really long time, but at least there's a glimmer of hope now. In that case, are you willing to devote the rest of your time to that goal? Yeah! I wish you luck. Do your best. I won't keep you from your re research any longer. Zygin. Huh? You're leaving already? I was hoping to tell you a bit more about the project and maybe get a few pointers. That's alright. I trust that you'll be able to accomplish your goals. Zygin. Hmm? A teacher. Why does it seem like I've seen her somewhere before? <sighs> Ought to deliver the goods to Labo. How are the food prices this year? Famine year. Each caddy of grain is worth is three three wen more expensive than last year. I suppose when everything's accounted for, your coin sack's a bit heavier than it was last year. That's not necessarily a good thing. Farming's all about putting pe food on people's tables. Never heard of farming to get rich. Let me teach you a method to make a little extra money. Just keep it in the back of your mind when selling your goods. Sell your highest quality crops locally at a normal price to increase your reputation. For your average quality stuff, mark up the price and hire a caravan to ship it far away as a novelty product. What are you going on about? Never anything so silly. The best crops are for family and friends first. You sell the average quality stuff and then use the rest as feed. You youngsters have way too many sly tricks. <laughs> Where are you planning to go? Baizhou. After making that much trouble, you just up and leave without saying anything? It is time to leave. Though I also don't have Daga's martial skill. If you won't let me go, then naturally I won't be able to leave. So, it depends on you. How unwilling are you to let me leave? I just wanted to ask you a question. You said you were going to make a deal with Yan. Were you planning to help build Da Huang up from the very beginning? I am a merchant, and when doing business, I have value, mutual profit, and reciprocity. If only one side profits, how would I be any different from a robber? If you didn't want to make an enemy out of all Yan, why did you need to do all this? Did you two brothers really have to pick a fight with Yan? Our sister was killed, after all. That said, the people of Yan harbor no animus towards us. Even if Ergus sees this world as nothing more than a Weichi board, a Weichi player naturally feels some sentiment toward the pieces and equipment he's used for a long time. However, those sitting in the court, lurking in the shadows, must pay the price for what they've done. This account must be settled eventually. Even if your own life is on the line, 
Using a twelfth to combat the whole was already a fool's errand. My life has already been assigned a price upon the ledger. You really have lost it. I still remember a long time ago, you came to visit all of us, one by one, posing a question to each and pointing the way. What do you see in the lands of Great Yan? My answer has never changed, and I imagine the same is true for Erga. Well, pay. Never cared for either of you bastards from the very beginning, and there's no taking talking wisdom with you. And when the time's right, I'm still coming to beat your asses. My brother used to have quite the temper. Whenever he'd lose a game, he'd start throwing cups and bowls around, but weak as he was, there was never any strength behind it. This time, he went a bit overboard, so thank you for stepping in. Gunkai! Get out of here already! Until we meet again. Who is she? Weaklings. They need to- they haven't revealed that yet. We need to know. We've got to find out. All right, so here we are. The finale, the wind and rain are cold. It is dark at the top. The game draws to a close. Let's do it. <sighs> Phew. And you had to, you had to take me up Mount Tien. I'll take this spot under the sunshine. You sit over there. You're in much better health than I am. The least you could do is offer me this spot. Ah, Grand Tudor. Coming out here for a stroll, some sunlight, and the water from the springs of Mount Tien will do your health much good. Ridiculous. It's been decades since we've so much as run into one another outside the palace walls, and you still invited me on this trip. You were the first to grow tired of sitting around. It's not easy to sit still for so long. Yuman, Da Huang, we didn't need an explanation for this string of events. Right. I am behind all of it. I abetted the Yuman Shan Haizong, and I let Ya in. Is this enough to drag me down? If you want more, here. I let Wang escape the capital. I sent the girl to Victoria. I instigated the demonic calamity. If you must open another vacancy in the court, you can pin all of this on me. The Shanghai Zong are a bunch of thugs. How could they possibly amount to anything? Ya was merely a sickly beast. It took only a few dozen to a hundred Tianxis to deal with. It was just perfect as the meal served to awaken the Sui. But certainly nothing to write home about. <coughs> Phew. In the end, I am a sickly old man too. This is the only use my life has left. You've never been troubled by things going out of hand. No, you're never, never troubled by anything. There is much that troubles me. I'm afraid of the unpredictable, sinister human mind. I am troubled by the trends I've seen. Going with the tide, one man pulling at each end, it's all for balance. But now the convict has toppled the Wei Chi board. Is it still possible to sue for peace? Human's repairs are complete, and it's on its way to the capital. Grand Tutor, please make up your mind. letter of reinstatement. I shouldn't have been the one to deliver this. The Imperial Court is already aware of the Da Huang affair and the acts of the two perpetrators. Right now, the Sui Regulator, the Tianxi Bureaus, the Six Ministries, all of them are in a frantic mess. I happen to be passing by Da Huang on business, so I lent them a hand. It was Mother who asked you to come, am I correct? Doshie. Seems the court has come to a conclusion regarding the crisis instigated in the proxies. Yes. Human's repairs are complete, and it has started sailing toward the capital once more. In the end, it comes to this. You're rather calm. I thought you'd be yapping how much you want to head back to the front lines. Lately, I've been trying to comprehend a certain wisdom. Is it because we fear that we are anxious? The more we are afraid of facing an unknown enemy, the stronger our urge to charge toward it. All for the sake of giving ourselves an explanation. But I'm not afraid anymore. The proxies may have the ability to bend heaven and earth, but in the end, they too have human emotion. In that sense, they are not different at all. Our opponents are not untouchable, and so, there is nothing to be afraid of. Lord Zuo, I have no intention of becoming your enemy. However, I do hope you take what I said to heart. The days ahead of us are long. And there shall come a time when we meet again. 
Not bad. Seems General Zuo didn't send you here for nothing. I'm ready for deployment. Where should I go? Yumin? Baishao? Don't be so hasty. We'll have you get back to your old role. There's a place that comes into contact with the proxies quite frequently. The court isn't completely oblivious to them, but per protocol, the Sui Regulator should launch an investigation. Rhodes Island? Hmm. So that's how he's making it to, Zo to Rhodes Island. So you're leaving? That's right. These seeds, some of them sprouted and their originium resistance is much higher than anticipated. It's time to take them to the fields outside for further cultivation. Wouldn't that be tough? It's no different from what I do in Dahuang. Hmm. When are you coming back then? First, I need to take the seeds to the grain cultivation bases all across the country and produce the first test crops. Then, based on how they adapt to different soils, develop a suitable cultivation method. So now we know she's okay, at least. But where's the uncle? Or her father, possibly. And so on. It might take more than ten generations to get accurate results. It might be a while. Hmm. One generation takes a year. Ten years? That's really long. That's enough for Mian Mian to get as big as his parents. Maybe it's not actually that long. After we switched to the new feed, the stock beasts all started to grow really quickly. Like, it's like they double in size every day. But ten years? That means waiting for the Wang... Wang Hua Zhou... Wang Hua Guo trees to grow these sour fruits ten times. When I think about it that way, that kind of feels like an eternity. <sighs> Let me see you off. Enveloped by the sound of the flute, the two are trailed, off, trailed by the setting sun. On the muddy road, there are two sets of footprints leading into the distance. Jiangnan. Daga once told me that he wanted to travel to Jiangnan after leaving his post. It has been centuries since he had a taste of Jiangnan's summertime water chestnuts, and since he has gotten so used to the sight of the yellow sands, perhaps he should enjoy some rest in a quaint riverside town. Careful, though. Don't break this painting. Ling was never able to, f able to forget that desert. She doesn't actually like war. She simply likes how valiant warriors look on the battlefield. Who wouldn't? The flames of war do not burn in the painting. There is only a column of smoke rising in the vast desert as the sun sets on the endless river. Enjoy your drink in peace there, and be the poet you want to be. Neon loves lo lively places, but a place like a Shangshu is a better fit for her than Lungman. You better you stay there and don't bother me again. Erga, I should have painted him a Wei Chi board and nothing more. Calculating emotions and terrible aesthetic sensibilities. This garden is yours. I don't want to ever have to see your face again. In the end, you didn't give yourself a way out. <laughs> Jie. If it wasn't for your constant nagging, and you playing the older sister card the whole time, I really would have asked you to teach me calligraphy. This will do. Despite all the effort I put into it, who knows if these paintings will remain when everyone wakes from their dreams? Does it really matter either way? When you have visited a place and seen all its sights, everything is but a pipe dream. What more fun is there? With all of you here, I am not lonely. The painter sets her brush down and withdraws. The sky is as clear as a blank scroll. A flock of foul beasts flies past. How does it fit? This is the only cloth I have. If you rip it, I couldn't get you another. It fits perfectly. Perhaps it's too late for me to ask, but... How do you think your chances are? A life and death struggle. This game will be decided by a mere half point. From the sound of it, you could easily lose everything, and you are beyond the point of no return. When will you make your move? Everything is ready. All we need. I will come see you soon. When you open your eyes and see the pattern on this robe, will you remember how you felt back then? A thousand years ago, 
that fear deep inside our souls, that disgrace etched on into our bones, you'd best remember. I will come see you very soon. Shoo, our fields have yielded nothing for a few years, and we really still grow crops here. We can still plant food if we use the right methods? But of course. Each field has a different plant suited to it. You need to use the most appropriate method to improve the soil. Plant these seeds here, you'll see results by autumn. Where are you from, Shu? You look pretty young, but you know so much about the fields. Are you maybe a Tianchi from the bureaus? What exactly is a Tianchi, anyways? They're people who studied specialized knowledge and pass it on to others. That's something. Please keep working. By all means, I'll get you a glass of water. Melolush, the seventh month, the ninth bid weaving winter clothes. Here comes spring to bring the sun and warbling of orioles. Nine. It was time to lay the garden out and ten to reap the joy of harvest grains. Plant your millets lest year end with hemp and beans and all the grains. Harvest gains, okay. Oh, is that a pretty picture? <laughs> Malalush, the seventh month, the ninth bid, weaving winter clothes. Winter comes early in Dahuang. We need to ready ourselves some proper clothes soon. My dear sister, should I make you a set of new clothes? I wouldn't need it. I've developed a new weaving, meth weaving method, which yields satins that are light, durable, and colorful. I have a new design thought out, and I'm certain it will look perfect on you. Eh, whatever floats your boat. Shoo. This is how man lives. It does seem rather pleasant. Yes. You've truly lived now. My good gentleman, I know by heart the wisdom of commerce that you've taught me, but there remains one thing I do not understand. All things under heaven are fleeting and indistinct. How should I appraise them? <laughs> Take a look. How much is that jade pendant I'm wearing worth? I know this pendant. It is very common and worth at most two tails of silver. But this pendant was left to me by my mother. I have been carrying it around for as long as I can remember. To me, it is priceless. In the end, appraisal means appraising the human heart. I shall remember. It's almost summer. Just the season for Jiangnan lychees. The climate is drying up north. It's dry up north. The lychees there are hardly sweet, and simply don't compare to the lychees back home. I thought I would go back home and open a trade route for selling the southern lychees up north, only for there to be a river standing in my way, stopping me from ever going back. It's a shame that this rain came at a terrible time. It will be summer in two days. Once your body warms up, we will hire a boat to cross the river. Forget it. I know in my heart that this is the end of the road. Why must a man always go to heaven? How old are you this year? Ages are not meaningful to my kind. But if we must, I will be exactly fifty, come Xiaoshu. I can tell you're not quite the same as mere mortals. I envy your long life. Still... Now that I consider it, such a long life will be full of hardship, would be full of hardship. No matter what you are, I am 83. You have followed me for so long. It certainly wouldn't be a bad deal for you, if I called you my adopted son. Indeed, I was fortunate to have met you and seen the boundless sights these lands have to offer. Fate brought us together. I have nothing much to give you. Aside from what worthless business, this one mantra is all I have. All under heaven live for profit and die for profit. I have been reciting this mantra from the day I began studying business, and it helped me triumph over many rivals. But if everything under heaven could really be summed up with just the word profit, this might just be a rather boring place. I don't have much time left and can't walk much farther. If you truly have such a long life ahead of you, then go and see for me. Walk this great land. Go and see for me whether there is really some kind of great windfall that profits all under heaven. If you truly do find it, I will remember. I will go and see. Huh. 
Well, there it is. It's finished. <laughs> we did it. And I beat it with a three star rating. Man, does that feel good. Wow. <sighs> well, guys, a little bit emotional after that one. Seems like all of the siblings are in some way, shape, or form going to sleep or something. And just based off the ending there, except for him, who seems to be going off wondering. Shu, who may or may not be there. It's, it's tough to say for sure. Is she wondering on her own? In a way, it's, it's like she's gained her freedom because when she disappeared and created that rainfall that was purifying everything... She disappeared, and some seemed to forget her while others didn't. Some, some, it's, it's almost like the ones that she was closest to, of course, remembered her. But, and, and the others that need to remember her did. But the others forgot her. Like, when Grain Buds tried, said her name and was like, wait, what did I just say? And Wan Ching, when he talked about her a couple times and was like, Wait a second. And then saw her there and was like, I, you know, it's almost like he remembered there's that lingering feeling. But he couldn't. He couldn't figure it out. It's like there's just a little part of her left there. But now she's free to go. She's free to go wherever, it seems. And the other one, the uh, Rong Wan Ching was her name. The Xiang Zhong, or, or however you say that. She was able to remember her. But everybody else, it's like nobody does. It's like she was never there. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see that. So maybe in an essence, okay, she's not completely gone. But now that she was able to let go, now that she left there, using everything that she's learned, all her knowledge, everything over the years, and the fact that the fruit bore, so to speak, in terms of the project that Xiao Hei now now sees he has the uh, the the grains the seeds that are able to be planted in originium polluted soil. They're able to resist it. He's able to see that he's able to go and cultivate that now. Things are are changing. Things are going up. But now we have the things that Wang is causing the issues that he's causing. Pretty much trying to start a war across all of Yan. It seems and. We've got G kind of following him, but at the same time now he seems to be wandering on his own and he's going to disappear again. There's there's so much going on that it's it's really tough to tell how exactly this story is wrapping up and what the implications are for the future between Yan and all the cities and places within it. Yumen, Da Huang. All the others that were mentioned, there's there's so many different things and different ways that this could impact. And we still don't know all the siblings and things that, you know, of course, there's supposed to be 12 pieces of the Ferenmut and they're each a different part. But we know Ji, we know Wang, we know Dusk, Neon, Ling, Chongyue, Shu. And then we also hear of Daga and Erga or, or whatever that name is. Then you have the slumbering of Sui, which is like a, like a husk, like a shell, uh, that it's almost like if they all came together, would that be the Farron I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused by that, but I think I'm kind of grasping at the right thing. But it, it just feels like there's more that we're going to see in this story in the future. That all the questions that needed to be answered kind of were, but they weren't. It opens up to more. It opens up to more possibilities in this land with these characters, with meeting others, with seeing the rest of the siblings. And it almost feels like in the end, there's going to be maybe a war across Yan that involves them and there's going to be sides. We're going to see all the remaining siblings and it's going to be one side versus the other and the question is who's going to be on which side and we didn't see chong yue in, in this one so we don't know where he is what he's doing exactly all we know is that he left human there could be many things that that could be going on but we also haven't seen the end of the project yet the 12 pagodas and five cities project 
there's so much more with that as well and what that could bring. Obviously, there were some issues there with the, with the way this event, with the story, the way it ended. There's some issues. There's some things that need to be resolved now and restored to get that back up and running. Who knows what's going to happen with that? But in the end, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in and a lot to think about. And I'm excited to see what the future brings for this part of the world, for the Great Avian, and for what we see with the siblings in the future and the story. And Zwola heading to Rhodes Island. His, he's going to investigate there, but he's going to be part of them. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in here. A lot of implications for the future. But it was an awesome story. It does bring a lot of emotions. And I admit when Shu did her thing, I almost cried. I almost cried seeing her disappear. Because it's like, no, I don't want to see that happen. But then she shows up there at the end. And it's like, so now you got to wonder, is she, is she back now and just free? Is that what that means? That's kind of what I'm taking from it. She's not disappeared anymore. She's not gone. She's physically there and she's wondering. And so is G. But the way that Dusk was talking there was almost like Neon is back to sleep and some others are back to sleep and like she's going back to sleep for a bit. Tough to say. Tough to say. But we'll have to see. For now, that's going to be it with this one. I'm going to look into the story a little bit more to see if there's anything that, that I just didn't quite understand. I might go back through and reread it all because there's plenty of time before the event ends. We've got till August 21st and I just finished it on the 4th. I'm actually very, very excited and very happy about that. So I've got time. I'm going to be farming and taking stuff out of the shop. And as a matter of fact here, real quick... Let's go in here, just because I want to get this with you guys. Let's get by Beak, because I don't have her. Let's bring her into the fray. Uh, hello, Doctor. My code name is Bybeak. Excuse me, <laughs> but is there a facility with a loom and a sewing machine here? That's kind of interesting. So you got the story, you got G who does the weaving and whatnot, and then you get a character here that's a, dealing with a loom and sewing machine. But she's actually pretty cheap to get the rest of her. I won't be able to get her all now. 50, next one is 60, and then 70 after. So I'll just have to continue to farm because then I'll get Hibiscus's Night Watcher outfit, Wanching's token, We'll have all these things, and I'll continue doing my daily logins. I don't know if I'll do any, like, recording of that in the future, but I'll continue doing some things, and then we'll maybe do an update soon to the account to show you guys my pulls and my characters and things like that after. Just just to give you an update to my operator <laughs> Ciao, list doctor. and so on and so forth. We'll, we'll do that after we're all done with this just because there's going to be a lot a lot of farming and things that i need to do here not only that but there is going to be a lot of updates by the end of this event with my operators of course because once i hit that 300 i'm gonna pick somebody else which maybe i'll make like a youtube short or something for that but uh in the end We'll have to, like I said, after the event, after this finishes, we'll do an update, a little update, and put it out there just so you guys can see where I'm at with my account, who I have operator-wise, and where to move forward with it. With that being said, guys, that is it for this one. I really appreciate all the time that you guys have spent watching my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day just to watch anything on my channel, to be here through these events and enjoy this stuff with me. As always, if you want to support the channel, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can like the video, which helps put it out there, helps other people to see it, helps it get into the algorithm. You could subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you just, you've been watching, but you haven't subscribed already, you've been on the edge, it's free for you to do. You can always subscribe, and it would help me greatly. And then, the last way, again, completely optional, down in the description is a link. It's a donation link where you could buy me an operator. I use this during my streams and things like that, but you can use that. 
put a note in it. Tell me what uh, what episode you saw this on, whatever the case is, where you're donating from, and let me know. And then what I'll do is in a future episode, I'll shout you guys out. Use that money towards a headhunting pack in the store or Originite Prime, and we'll headhunt with that to get us new operators and things on this account. With that being said, that is it for this one. And the end of Here Are People Sows. We'll see you guys next time.